Welcome in the second devlog of Light the Dark, my game project in Unity. In these weeks uh, I was very busy because I restart following courses uh, at university and uh, I began uh, my thesis experience. But I had time also to think about this project and uh, I came out with uh, different ideas regarding the backstories of Bree, the main character of the game. It's very important when you have a project like this to have a story in mind, because everything is built around it. I want you to discover the story devlog after devlog, so today I will not spoil her too much. Instead, let's see together what are the major updates from the last video. In the last video, I made a script to change the size of the fire, thanks to a lifetime parameter. When it's set to 1, the fire is huge, while when it's set to 0, the fire disappeared. I want to improve this script under different aspects. First, introducing a slider. Nothing that the final player will see, but useful for me to change rapidly the fire settings. Since the normal slider was too boring, I made a colorful one that perfectly does its job. The next step was working on the light system. By modifying the radius and the intensity of the point light sources, it's possible to control the firelight effects on the environment. I did something similar also for the spotlight present in the camera position and I was satisfied with the final result. At least for now. Let's move ahead to the next big topic, Brie. I'm absolutely not an expert in Blender, so I watch a lot of tutorials. Seriously, a lot of tutorials. To create a very basic character using this software. Here is how I did it. I shaped a low poly head. From it I extrude a simple neck, two shoulders and then all the remaining parts of the body. The mantra was, a simple result is better than a complex garbage. After an hour of work, the character looks like this. I quickly understand that this was only the beginning. I increase the number of vertices present by subdividing the faces of the object. In this way, I was able to apply a smooth modifier to obtain a less robotic-like body. Basically, I made a Slenderman. I tried to make a simple hairstyle to repair my mistakes, but it's looking too unnatural for that body. Later I will fix it. I don't want Brie to be a sexy character, so I dress her in a huge sweater. The aspect was fine, apart from the fact that the legs were too short. I adjusted them and I designed a more suitable hairstyle. Before showing you the final result, I will reveal to you two of the major failures of this Blender process. The first one is a mixture between a pig and Shrek. And the second one seems like a famous Italian mascot, Topo Gigio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you Brie. Probably you're thinking, cool, but where are the eyes? I can explain it. Brie has no eyes for two reasons. The first one is that for me it's freaking hard to draw eyes in Blender. And the second one, more important, it's about the story of the game. What you can see when you're playing Light Dark, Brie can see it without her eyes. Why? Tell me your hypothesis in the comment section. Maybe someone will guess it. I transferred the files from Blender to Unity and I adjusted all the materials. Unfortunately, during the shift, the quality of the materials dropped a lot. But it's not a big problem, because during the game the camera will not be this close to the character and all the details will be lost by the distance. I created a simple script to move her around. With the A and D keys you can rotate Brie in the wanted direction and by pressing W she takes a step forward. Or better, she moves forward without taking any steps. She floats around like a ghost. I created a simple animation using Blender to make the walk more realistic. It's far from perfection, but at least now is not anymore a scarecrow with luck problems. By moving Brie around, I realized that I needed to improve a lot the quality of the grass shader to be really satisfied. 
When you walk in a field, you move a bit the grass leaves, while in this case everything is motionless. Also, the body of the character does not create any shadow on the grass, and this is so unnatural. Unfortunately, Unity has not implemented yet a shadow option for a point source like the fire, so I need to create one from my own. I started with a completely new grass shader, all white tinted, where I can focus on the shadow features. The idea was to create an ellipse that follows the main character thanks to its position. In my first attempt, I obviously made some mistakes because the circular black spot was located between Brie and the fire and not on the outside. After adjusting the problem, the shadow moved to the right position, but uh, its shape was still too strange. The reason was that the ellipse was oriented in the wrong direction. When it must be horizontal, it was vertical and vice versa. I used one of my favorite websites, Desmos, to come out with a good solution, and the final implementation was exactly what I was looking for. I return to the grass color base shader with two major differences. When Brie walks around, the grass leaves under its feet are trampled and when she moves away, they naturally return to their shape. The second difference was to introduce a more marked area where the firelight ends, so it's much simpler for the player to understand where the safe area is. More features about the safe area will be present in the next episode. I can still use the slider implemented in the first part of the episode to change the luminosity of the scene. Thanks to the changes in the design, everything is simpler, because I don't need any more three lights to properly illuminate the scene, but just one. By using a properly post-processing effect, I can also make the fire more realistic. I leave you a moment to appreciate all my efforts. I think this is enough for these devlogs. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. More devlogs are coming.